Peace, peace. Today, let's talk about melanin. You know, in dealing with melanin, I want to speak about some of the benefits of melanin, um, some of its functions, and how melanin sustains us, and how it is a form of magic. Okay, so in dealing with melanin, you know, for one definition, melanin can be considered a form of condensed sunlight. In another definition, melanin can be uh, like a type of intellect, you know, Form of you know a form of special intelligence that gives melanated people uh, somewhat superpowers to be able to do extraordinary things. Uh, so in dealing with melanin, we have to deal with the sun. You know, and in dealing with the sun, sun is what? Sun is a form of vitamin D. Vitamin D as in vita, vitality. Amen, amen ra, which is the sun, or the hidden one. Why? Because you need sun to amplify and to help heal your melanin. So whenever you go outside and get a sun bath or take a sun bath, you're simply healing your melanin. You know what I mean? You're taking a melanin bath, and that's melanin magic in a sense. So in dealing with this, when we don't get sunlight, especially us as melanated people, we get what? We fall under depression. We get anxious. And in some cases, some people get a slight case of suicide or have suicidal thoughts. So it's very important to go out and get sun. Because you can take those pills, but that's a form of synthetic healing, meaning you're not getting the appropriate amount of nutrients. You know, you're getting some vitamin D from those pills or melatonin pills, would and would not, but it isn't a sufficient amount or wouldn't be the same amount as you going outside and getting the, the sunlight yourself. And speaking of melatonin, that's why 64,000 black girls come up missing a year because, you know, they need our organs and they need our melanin. Because think about it, how the hell does melanin get in a bottle? Shit, melanin is worth like $383 a gram. So in dealing with this, you know, we have two types of melanin that people like to deal with. And that's neuron melanin and surface melanin. Now, surface melanin can deal with some of the pigment of your skin, wouldn't would not. Whereas, if you lack in surface melanin, then you might pick it up in neuron melanin. So, uh, in dealing with this book of melanin, A Key to Freedom, by Richard King, MD. I want to go in and talk a little bit about some of the key words uh, of melanin and probably, you know, break down a little bit of, of some of, you know, the benefactors. Uh, chapter one speaks about melanin and the brain, neuron melanin, 12 brain system pigmented nuclei. Within the human brain stem, there are 12 centers of black melanin. So I'm going to name a few. Um, starting with, starting with the locus coeruleus. Critically, only humans have deep melanin pigmentation of all 12 brain centers. The one brain center deeply pigmented with black melanin only in humans, but not other primates or other animal forms is known as the locus Coeruleus. The locus coeruleus literally means black dot. Locus is a Latin word. Locus locum, meaning point or dot. Coeruleus is a Sanskrit word. Coeruleus yamas, meaning black. The philosophical concept of the black dot is a key concept found at the core of ancient African systems of knowledge, such as the ancient Anu hieroglyphic name for Kulan, the Great Lake site of the birthplace of humanity and the Kemetic or Egyptian hieroglyphic name for the sun god Ra. So you know, you also have um, the substantia nigra, uh, you have the, bro the brachialis, um, you also have the medialis dorsal motor, and to name another one, the retro amb ambigualis. Did I say that right? The retro ambigualis. So, you know, in dealing with this, you know, you can also deal with, you know, the pineal gland. Because last, the pineal gland releases a hormone called melatonin during the night that has a vast array of effects because melanin works best at night. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. That's why, that's why around 3 o'clock, some people call the devil's hour 
or what other was or what others would call the witch's hour is when you want to be up doing the most, you know what I mean? Because that's when the melanin is really doing its thing. So, uh, in Melanin in the Eye, Chapter 2, without the melanin in the pigmented layer of the retina, a life form will be permanently blind. So basically, without melanin, you can't see. Light vision is born from blackness, melanin. And like I said before, out of the darkness comes the light. <laughs> Uh, we can talk about melanin and the ear. Black melanin is critical biopigment. The black chemical of life found throughout the entire body of all humans, skin, eyes, brain, and doctoring glands, blood, heart, lungs, gastrointestinal tract, kidney, urogenital tract, sexual organs. You dig what I'm saying? So, you know. And dealing with that, you know you have melanin in every part of the body. That's why, melanin, that's why melanin is so essential and so important. Why do you think that they want our melanin? Because they know that melanin is... Man, they know more about us than we know about us. So um, you also have melanin and the pineal gland, which is the development of inner vision. So the human melanin system functions as a whole, holy black body, as the inner vision, eye of the soul, to produce true spiritual consciousness creative genius, beautific vision, to become godlike, and to have conservation with the immortals, ancestors. You dig what I'm saying? Like, melanin is very essential to the pineal gland, to the third eye. So when your pineal gland is calcified, you know, that's when you lower your vibrations and you can't really connect with the all or, or with your higher subconscious. But when you decalcify your pineal gland, you know, by uh, dieting, fasting, uh, drinking alkaline water or simply water with lemons in it. Um, you know, maintaining a healthy diet, exercising, meditation, doing your mantras, piranhas, uh, mudras, things of that nature. You know, that's how you help raise, you know, vibrations with and whatnot. But once again, you know, Melanin, The Key to Freedom by Richard King, MD. It's a great book, you know, to start at or start with. And, you know, understanding neuron melanin and surface melanin. Especially understanding the 12 stems or the 12 systematic systems of the brain and the 12 functions of melanin whereof, you know what I mean? Um, but once again, you know, melanin is basically a condensed sunlight or a form of condensed sunlight because everything has to do with light energy. Um, melanin is also a special type of intellect. You know, it also works best at night, especially for melanated people. Uh, some would suggest that the more pigmented skin that you have or the more hue that you have, the more melanin that you have. Um, but, then, but then again, where one lacks in surface melanin, they probably make up for it in neuron melanin. Um, what else? Anything else that I need to go back over? You know, I, think, uh, I think that's pretty much it, family. But yeah, you know, you have your neuron melanin, you have your surface melanin, you have 12 different systematic stems in the brain, you know, that deal with melanin. Melanin is in every part of the body. Um, remember that melanin is so important that that's why we come up missing every year. You know, organ harvesting, taking our blood, you know, stealing our melanin. You know, melanin sold on the black market is worth about, it was worth $353. You know, a gram, now it's worth 383 a gram. You know, that's more than platinum, gold, palladium, cotine, uh, you name it. So, you know, it's the reason why, you know, so many drive-bys would and would not, they get orchestrated. You know, because they never really hit black women like that. They always hit black males because, you know, his organs worth like 10 times more than the black market. So, you know, I could really give a less about minorities or a group of people, you know. I can go ahead and orchestrate, you know, some type of crime or violence. And, you know, get all that melanin because we're going to put in a bottle called melatonin. So, you know, once again, I ask you this. If they're not getting rid of us, and, and if we don't come up missing, then how is melanin getting put in a bottle? <laughs> peace, family, peace.